my god. Oh my head. No, no. Answer me that. This this can't be Just happening. Answer me that! God. Your own family. Your own blood. What the hell were you thinking? What in the hell crossed your mind? What the fuck is happening to you? You've ruined our family. What am I going to do now? My son! You are not my son. Come on. Maybe I can get out to Grandpa's house. What an idiot I was. I, I gotta get out of here. I need to find a way out. Poor oh, Dad notices I'm here. My, my birthday present? How did it get here? Is just like Dad. I should find a nail or something to hang it with.
What the hell has Dad been doing here? Dad said he was repairing Grandpa's house, but instead he's been investigating this woman? What is going on? My notebook? So Dad's the one who took it away from me. I don't remember drawing any of these. Am I going insane? <laughs> This storm must have taken out the power. I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. It has no signal. must be clogged. Blue knees? Chains? Maybe I can break them with something. to find a way to open this door if I want to get out of this house. It was so nice having both houses connected. We were able to have breakfast with Grandpa every morning. Oh! 
From the moment of first contact, it is already too late. When a demon what? attaches itself to a human... Demons? It becomes a parasite of sorts. It feeds from the host until it devours every last part of their soul. In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. If you what want to break that about? link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. I could speak at length about various rituals and procedures, but by far the best way is to obey. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. Only then will the demon leave of its own accord. Usually they enter the earthly plane through certain objects that they use as conduits between worlds. Even if you rid yourself of that object later, the demon has made the contact it needs, and already walks among us. In the first stages of possession, the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, so dad even violent. This is so the result possessed. of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them malleable, compliant. This, this is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects, cockroaches in particular. My advice, steer clear of the insects. There's just no way I can't be possessed. There must be a mistake. Those pictures, that leg, that arm, I didn't do it. Dad thinks it was me, but I... I... My head... A door. A red door. What's happening to me? Is this what that man was talking about? It can't be happening to me. C could it be the basement door? What? What is this place? This is impossible. What's... what's wrong with me?
is like a crime scene. 